Well, hello everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com and today, all things XJet. Uh, kind of an update to a previous video I did because I want to include modifying it. I had left something out on the previous video, but we're going to just kind of go over all things XJet because I get a lot of questions about those. Um, so we're going to go from unboxing one to uh, the various ways that you can install them, go over the proportioners, things of that nature. So stand by for XJet next. Okay, guys. Um, Starting off with the box, the X-Jet, you get um, everything that comes in the box. Uh, I'm going to go over that. These come in various different sizes based on uh, your gallon per minute. So you can get them for two to three gallon per minute machines, four to six, six to eight, eight and above. Um, and they have different sizes for different gallon per minute, like I just stated. So when you're ordering these, that's really what you want to make sure that you're ordering them based off of the gallon per minute of your machine. So when you order one, for instance, this is the size, they call it the number 13. This is for basically a four to six gallon per minute machine. So when you get your box, you're basically going to have a little bag with the colored proportioners in them that will go we will go over that and it will have the number on it which which these are the proportioners for that gallon per minute you'll have your hose which is about 15 foot long you also have a metal screen um, filter which could go into the bottom of a bucket i recommend removing this the bleach is going to eat it up and cause rust in your bleach water um, surprised they have not changed that over the many years, but um, that's how it comes. But I would recommend getting you some type of different filter on the bottom or maybe not even using a filter. I'll show you a couple different ways in a little bit that you can um, set these up on the either the X-Jet bucket or a five gallon bucket. Um, and then the hose is only 15 foot long. And so what I like to do on mine is I'll just buy anywhere from 40 to 80 feet. You can go longer if you want to. It's just a matter of how much hose you want to measure or uh, not measure, but how much hose you want to deal with on a property. Generally, the longer, the better. Then you have less bucket movements, but you also have to remember on an X-Jet, you're using your bleach much faster than if you're downstreaming um, or using a dedicated pump. So you either you know have to have multiple buckets or just know that you're going to have to refill your bucket um, frequently on the job. But the hose comes 15 foot long, so it doesn't stretch out very far. You've got a uh, two-way valve here, which is a shut-off valve, so that you can go from your bleach mix, shut it off like that, and then it will just spray water so that you can rinse so like that is going to be drawing the bleach out of the bucket like this is going to turn it off and it'll spray only water so that you can rinse um, with the same nozzle not have to change or anything like that so that's the hoses that you get that's the hose that comes with it um, then you also get the little nozzle here which is going to go on the open end like that and I would suggest you hope put a hose clamp there and so that's how the nozzle would attach to the hose just like that put a hose clamp once you get it all the way down I'm not gonna completely install it right now because in a little bit I'm gonna show you how you can modify this to uh, act like a downstreamer but uh, that's your basic um, things that you get you also get your instruction guide which has a lot of helpful information and so I suggest you read completely through the instruction guides. It's got a recipe for house washing here on the back of it. Um, and it even states that if you're uncertain about using these proportioners, 
to, um, you know, they recommend that you just use uh, bleach and water, dilute it how you want to in the bucket. So I don't recommend using these proportioners for bleach mix for house washing. Um, just dilute how you want it in the bucket. Once you get used to dilution ratios and things of that nature, um, you could use these proportioners and we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. All right, so on the proportioners, you get different colored proportioners. They come in this little bag and then there's another bag here with the proportioners in them. They're all different colors. Um, which indicate the ratios that it, will, it could draw out of your uh, bucket. So if you were to pull, put nothing but full strength undiluted bleach in the bucket, um, you could dilute using the proportioners um, 5 to 1, 10 to 1, 16 to 1, 30 to 1, things of that nature. The problem with using the proportioners, let's say you're going to fill your bucket your X-Jet bucket like this with uh, full strength bleach and you want a 30 to 1 mix, then on the 4 gallon per minute machine, you're going to use the little white colored proportioner here. Um, but then let's say later you want to use a 16 to 1 or a 10 to 1 mix or whatever, you would then have to actually change the proportioner out. And so to eliminate some time uh, changing the proportioners out, this is why I always suggest that you just use the bleach, make the bleach in your bucket the dilution that you want. So if you're going to put, uh, this is a five gallon bucket, so if you're going to put two and a half gallons of bleach in here and then two and a half gallons of water, a little dab of soap, then you're going to be drawing pretty close to a 50-50 mix because with an X-Jet pretty much pretty close to whatever you dilute it in your bucket is what it's going to come out as. And so that would just save you a lot of time than having to change out these proportional proportioner inserts. These inserts are great for if you want to use it for degreaser or you acids or things of that nature um, and you want to get to a specific ratio um, but other than that, I just don't see the need for them. Um, and XJet even recommends, you know, for house washing that you just dilute how you want in the bucket. So you can read through the instructions, read about these proportioners, decide if and when you want to use those. But um, I've never used them and just don't see the need for them. But they're going to have for certain things. Um, as you grow your business and learn more about proportioning and learn more about dilution ratios um, and things of that nature. Okay guys, when you, if you do want to use the proportioners that they come with from this little bag, I've already pulled the little white one out. And so you've got the nozzle ass assembly that looks just like this. And your proportioner is simply going to slide into the little hole right here on the bottom of the hose barb. And so you just kind of snap it into place and it'll sit. That's what it's designed for. Um, and then you're simply going to take your hose and put it over this. And then that little proportioner is going to help to dilute your ratio according to the colored proportioner that you use. So, um, like I said, during a house wash using bleach. I never use the proportioners. Um, it's recommended that you don't. Just go ahead and dilute your bucket, like I said in the earlier portion, and um, you'll be all set. These little proportioners come in a little bag. They also come in a, uh, which is actually inside a larger Ziploc bag. So make sure you keep those protected. Um, I suggest get you an old pill bottle or aspirin bottle or something real small that you can keep them in because you don't want to lose them. Um, just don't have them loose where they can fall out of something and keep those protected. But that's how you install the proportioner right on the bottom of the hose barb. Now one of the things uh, I talked about a little bit, I showed it a little bit earlier. This is an X-Jet bucket. It's a five gallon bucket. Um, it's really designed for no spills. 
Um, it comes with a hose barb already onto the cap. And then what happens is going towards the bottom inside is a pipe, a little PVC pipe. And so it draws it up through that PVC pipe and then it sends it, when you hook this to here, you can, uh, it'll draw it up and send it on down to your gun. And so an X-Jet bucket, it's uh, basically a no-spill container. Um, I use these even for um, degreasers or anything other than um, just X-Jetting because they're very sturdy buckets. They're very good buckets. Um, there's a vent hole on the back. This is an older style that has a black type um, where you can just twist it. But there is a vent on the back that comes with a cap. And so you want to make sure you unscrew that cap and you just, I just used to set it down in here um, when I use the X-Jet and that allows the air to kind of push the solution. Otherwise, if you leave the cap on, what's going to happen is this bucket's going to suck in. So the air has to come in, be able to um, come back out, all that kind of stuff. Um, so just make sure that you're using that vent cap and don't lose it. Um, it's a big pain, um, but if you've got the uh, X-Jet bucket, um, it's a great tool to have. I think they run about 40, 45 bucks, something like that. Comes already equipped with a hose barb and the drop tube stick in it. Um, and you can also fashion one of these or make one of these with a five gallon bucket, which I'll show you um, in this video as well. Okay guys, I told you I'd uh, show you a way you could take a five gallon bucket make an X-Jet bucket if you wanted to do that. Um, the cool thing is you could use this for downstreaming too. You could also do the same thing on the X-Jet bucket with a little modification. But all you need to do is have a good lid, good bucket, and uh, you're just gonna drill yourself a hole using a hole saw. Um, and I'm gonna use a half inch bulkhead fitting just like you would use on a tank. And so you would basically put the bottom side uh, up through the bottom side of the lid so that the the side with the big gasket that sits down on the bottom here that always goes in the inside of your bucket or your tank and then you take the little thin gasket it's going to go on the outside on the top and then you put the uh, little nut that swings that uh, screws down on top and tighten it up and then what you could do is get you a half inch by three eighths. So it'd be a half inch threaded by three eighths barb hose fitting. And you would simply screw that in, make sure you dope everything um, and get, get, get it oriented how you want it. And then all you have to do is use your three eighths hose from the X-Jet to slide onto there, hose clamp it. Um, so that would take care of the top part of the bucket and then for the bottom part what you would want to do on the bottom side is just get you a from Home Depot a little stick of half inch PVC and get you a half inch threaded to half inch coupler PVC and you can actually just kind of screw that you can not kind of you can just screw this down into the bottom of the, the underside of the bulkhead fitting. PVC glue here, and then you can connect that right there, and then that will go on top of your bucket. And so now you've got your PVC going into the bottom of the bucket, and you're using a five gallon bucket. What you may wanna do is take either a small little drill, and drill a small little hole into the top of the bucket so that air can get into it. Or you can use, you can see this one, I have not pulled the tab out yet, um, but you could pull that tab out and pull, push this up. It's the spout that comes on a lid. Um, pull this out there now you've got a breather hole as well the problem is if it if it tips over um, that's a lot of bleach running out um, a smaller hole like the one that comes on the x-jet bucket is better because if a little bit leaks out you can dilute it down pretty quick and not harm the grass 
Um, so either way, you could drill a little hole into the top of it. That way it gets air inside the bucket and doesn't collapse the bucket. Um, or use this. Now, another way that you could use this bucket is you could take your hose and if you get, I don't think the 3.8 hose is going to go through the, you could get like a three quarter inch piece of PVC and slide this up the hose and then use that inside the bucket, but your bucket would need to be open or you could probably get it through the bottom here. So a few different ways that you can do an X-Jet bucket. Again, um, I just think the best way is getting one of the X-Jet buckets for X-Jet because it just comes ready to use. I'm a big ready to use guy. Um, but if you make one out of the five gallon bucket, one of the cool things that you can do is you can go from a half inch hose barb up here, a half inch threaded barb to a quarter inch um, barb part. So half inch threads, quarter inch barb, and then you could use the bucket for downstreaming if you wanted to. So a few options, you just gotta kinda think, you know, different ways you can use things, but um, that's how you would do a five gallon bucket uh, if you wanted to use it for X-Jet or one of the ways that you could do it, the easiest way I have found. Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hey, if you're getting value, enjoying these videos, if they're helping you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, give me a like and most of all, give me a comment if you have a question about anything. Uh, try to answer every single question that I can. And if I don't know the answer, I try to get the answer for you. But uh, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, hit that comment, and also hit that little bell. That'll notify you every time I come out with um, videos that could help you. Uh, also, don't forget, guys, we sell these soft washing hats. These are bleach proof. Um, and we also have shirts, long sleeve or short sleeve. So these hats come and they say soft washing or you can get it with pressure washing. These are the hats that I wear on a daily basis, just like that I've got my school on it. And we use these because they don't bleach out. They're also great advertising. So there's nothing like walking around, say what you do with nothing else on it. Um, get a lot of business off these going through Home Depot, Lowe's, um, even showing up to property managers offices and things of that nature. It's funny to watch them get on the phone and intercom or whatever and say, hey, Doug Rucker's here. And you can tell they'll say, well, who is that? And say, that's the pressure washing. So anyway, just uh, great little tools to have. And uh, those are on our website. I think the hats are 25 bucks. I don't know how much the shirts are, 15, 17, something like that. Um, all different sizes, long sleeve, short sleeve shirts, soft washing hats, pressure washing hats, and shirts, uh, bleach proof. And the good thing about these gray shirts too, is they don't really bleach out. This is the ash gray. Now from getting bleach on it all the time, the threads of course will start tearing or whatever <clears throat> because you're weakening the threads. But great little inexpensive uniform, especially if you're just starting out and just want to announce to the world. Uh, what you do because what you do is more important than who you are until people get to know you so uh, I'm gonna start talking about the XJet modification I did a video on this a year maybe two years ago and it just absolutely blew up one of the problems is I forgot to mention to put the orifice and the little spring back in and so we had a lot of calls a lot of people that would hook them up and the water would start uh, flowing back into the bucket and so I had to uh, either answer their question on YouTube to put the orifice and spring in even though I put it down in the video description most people don't read the video descriptions and I get that but so I just thought I'd do another quick one here as part of the XJet uh, all things XJet video this um, so it comes with the nozzle like this and of course you're normally going to hook it like this onto your hose barb and then it's going to go on the end of your lance and so when you're going around cleaning if i can get that to seat um you're spraying kind of like this and because this nozzle is down on the end here and the main part that's what creates a lot of pressure and a lot of mist um, a lot of people say you're soft washing when you use an X-Jet, eh, maybe. If you're staying off the surface and letting it hit 
uh, letting your mix hit the surface soft. I guess you, I guess you could say that. I would never use one of these for cleaning a roof. They just put out way too much pressure, either in this form or the modified form, like I'm going to show you. I know there's people that have videos on YouTube that use X Jets for cleaning a roof, but I've seen many cases of shingle damage done because X Jets have so much pressure they can literally blow the shingles up. Um, and if the shingles are weak in any shape, form, or fashion, it can just blow the shingles off. So please don't use an X-Jet for cleaning a roof. They're great for house washing. You know, the main thing about X-Jets is they keep the bleach mix off of everything from this point back. So you're not getting bleach running through your hose. You're not getting bleach running through your uh, hose reels, um, any of your fittings, none of that. The only place the bleach hits is here and runs up through the nozzle. So that's, that's you know, a great benefit of them. It'll save you a lot of money on wear and tear. Um, X-Jetting is not my favorite way of cleaning. I think if we use this every couple years, once or twice, um, that's a lot. Uh, I just prefer downstreaming, as most people know, and then use a dedicated pump or a pump-up sprayer if we got to hit uh, some really bad mildew. But I do think every truck should have an X-Jet because they just come in handy sometimes and you never know. So we always have one available if we need it. Um, and so that's what I suggest. So that's how you would use it in its uh, simplest um, original form of how you're supposed to use an X-Jet. Um, if you wanted to modify it so that you could use it and get less pressure it's not going to be just like downstreaming but it will produce less pressure less mist um, and allow you to use your j-rod nozzles that you use when you're downstreaming you can do that and what all you need is two quarter inch couplers um, bushings whatever one that's female pipe thread like this on both sides and then one that's male pipe thread like this on one side um, on both sides and so you're simply going to and I've already loosened these up you're simply going to take your plug fitting off that's on the end and out from there will come the spring out from there will come the spring and the orifice and so the order that goes in is the orifice goes in first and then the spring goes on top of that. So when you put it together, you got to make sure you put those two things back in. But we're going to take them out for right now, lay them down there. And so that's the order. Let's get it on the black here, maybe oh, right there. That's the order that it would go back. So you put the orifice back in, then the spring on top of that. So what happens is you take your gun off a little wand and we sell these ready to use modified X jets you can get those on our site or you can just buy if you've already got an X jet want to modify yours we also have these fittings that you can buy I think they're five or six bucks or something if you just want to modify yours very easy to do um, we charge 165 bucks or 175 or something like that if you want us to send you one ready to use which comes with the gun the wand um, everything built ready to go okay so all you're going to do is take the male pipe thread fitting and it's going to go into the gun like this and of course you want to teflon tape everything use a little bit of lock seal we have lock seal available also on our site and then take the nozzle off i've already loosened it when you get this when you get this set up and you go to take these off they've used permanent lock seal to attach this so it's very hard to get off so you've got to make sure that you're on it you've got a really good strong vise and a really good strong wrench to get this off and don't force it but just kind of push nice and easy but as you know much weight as you need um, slowly and just kind of you're looking to bust that seal and once you bust it it'll come off pretty easy but I know too many guys try to force it off too quick and it strips the threads right here um, so just make sure you've got a good wrench and can get some good torque on it but anyway so you're going to take this off and then that's what you're left with and so you put your orifice back into here let it go all the way down 
and it's the pointy end goes in first then you put your spring in and then that little piece is going to screw right onto that adapter just like that and then you've got this piece which is the female threaded quarter inch coupler it's going to screw onto that and you see you've got that long stem so that long stem that's coming out it's okay for it to stick out it's not going to hurt anything because it's just going to go right up into your wand and you screw that part on screw your wand on like that of course again teflon tape everything and then you're going to put your hose to your uh, x-jet the x-jet hose right onto that clamp it down and now you've got a modified x-jet gun that you'll be able to use your j-rod that you would normally use for downstreaming and you'll get less pressure it'll be closer to downstreaming um, with less pressure you can use your long range nozzle your soap nozzle your cleaning nozzle whatever you need i suggest that you leave you know it, it, leave your little two-way valve on here because you can still turn this on and off by the way if you decide to replace your hose like I mentioned earlier you're looking to get 3 8 poly braided hose cut this out and insert it into your new hose about the same length down I think it's two two feet maybe I don't know but get this you know to where it's comfortable for you to reach down and turn this on and off I usually put mine about right here where I can easily grab it um, of course based on how long how much I use it um, which is not very much but anyway uh, I usually put it right there where it's easy to get so I don't have to reach down and pull the hose up and then turn it off or whatever but that's basically uh, how you modify your X jet so it's like a downstreamer um, very easy to do like I said we have the fittings if you already have an X jet <coughs> excuse me you can go ahead and modify your own by just getting the two little quarter inch fittings that go there um, separate this piece be sure to put the spring and the orifice back in and you're good to go now these are these X jets are rated for PSI as well so one of the things that cause problems if you've got a 4400 PSI machine and it's a four gallon per minute um, too much PSI can sometimes force water back through the hose barb um, not having the orifice in there can force water down through the hose barb read your instructions they have a frequently asked questions or a little chart on there um, that tells you you know different problems that could happen water coming through here or the orifice where it's not spraying the bleach it could be trash in this part um, so read 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 your instructions I know we're men we don't like to read instructions but read your instructions so you know how to operate this and you know any type of possible problems that could arise how to fix those um, things of that nature okay so that's how you modify the X jet again we sell these already modified built like this it doesn't come with the J rod but that's how basically it would come um, I don't even think we sell the hose with it. No, we don't. We just sell it like this so you can go get your own uh, hose at Home Depot or Lowe's or we have poly braided hose on our site as well. So that's how you do the modified X-Jet. Okay, I thought I'd do a quick little demonstration using the X-Jet, the modified X-Jet, and then also show you downstreaming so that you can see that you're getting relatively pretty much the same uh, pressures as downstreaming. This is the X jet bucket. Remember, this is an old version. Um, it yours probably will not come with that black cap, but it will come with a white cap that you unscrew. Just kind of set it there in the bucket, make sure you don't lose it. Um, and, but that's going to help you vent the bucket. And then also where you see the hose barb there, make sure you go ahead and, uh, put a hose clamp on there. I didn't put one on there just for 
demonstration purposes. But that's what the X jet bucket would look like with one end of the hose going into it. And then inside that bucket is a drop tube pipe that goes to the bottom to draw your solution out of the bucket. Okay, hey guys, this is using the modified X jet and this nozzle would be your low uh, soap nozzle that you would use to like normally downstream so that would apply down on the low and then I'm switching it to the slingshot no I'm sorry this is the higher pressure nozzle that you could use for cleaning so this would be the rinse low nozzle and then I'm fixing to switch it to the slingshot uh, shooter tip this is the four gallon, I think it's a four to seven gallon per minute range. And so you can see I'm getting um, really good distance with this. I'm getting probably, I measure it with the wheel, it's anywhere between 50 to 55 feet, um, just depending on how high you, know, you raise up the wand to get that little extra distance. But that's great distance for uh, using the X jet, actually gonna be a little bit more distance than you get with the, uh, downstream when you're downstreaming um, just a little bit and then there i switched the uh, little two-way valve off to turn the soap off and go to rinse water and uh, i like i like keeping it real close so it's only you know, a few inches down off that hose but that's the kind of pressure you get when you're using the modified x -tip. So guys, I am using the four gallon per minute uh, hurricane pressure washer. This is the where I'm hooking up now to downstream. I've hooked up the bypass downstream injector, running my siphon tube into the tank itself. So all you do is remove that cap where the X jet was hooked to uh, the 90 degree hose barb. Just take that out and run your siphon tube into the tank and uh, you'll be able to start downstreaming. Like I said, this is a four gallon per minute. This has the hose reel mount on it, which is a separate option, um, but great little machine if you guys are just starting out. Um, so you're, you're actually able to see the types of distance. I know a lot of guys call and ask, I've just got a four gallon per minute machine. How can I get you know, higher distances, two, three stories? So using the X jet or the downstream, either way, um, as long as you're using the J-Rod kit, then um, that's going to help you immensely getting those higher peaks and those higher stories that you want to get. So um, great little unit. We use it quite frequently on various jobs where we can't get all of our hose to or our truck or trailer mounted machines like atriums inside buildings, just any place where we would need to take a uh, pressure washer inside or two that we have difficulty getting to. Um, and then also it just works out great for extra machines sometimes on jobs when you've got guys that can help you clean parking lots or sidewalk, a lot of sidewalks, curbs, all that kind of stuff. So great little machine comes with a hose mount as an option if you want to pay extra for that. I honestly don't know that I would ever get the hose mount again. It can sometimes be a little cumbersome, but uh, some guys like it. And uh, so it comes as an option for that if you like it. So here I am using the same exact J-Rod nozzle that I was using with the modified X-Jet. X -Jet. Right now I am spraying through the, again, the slingshot, uh, four to seven gallon per minute uh, nozzle. That's our long range distance nozzle. Love this nozzle. Um, just a, can use it for a wide variety of different things. But now I'm switching over to uh, the low soap nozzle. Um, like I did in the previous video. So that's the one you would apply down low. You can see it's just pretty much the same pressures and the same flows um, as uh, the modified X jet. That's the rinse low. Um, has a little bit more pressure to it that we use for cleaning brick or just stubborn stains or whatever, but still low pressure. And now going back to uh, the slingshot again. And what I've done is uh, right now I'm going over to turn the bypass so that it's not on soap anymore and it'll be on rinse, um, which 
kind of restores the flow and the pressure back to your machine when you're downstreaming. So um, that's it. That's the downstreaming version um, versus the modified X jet. Give you a little demo there so you can see how great it works. Um, if you'd like one, get it off our website or you can also modify your own. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it on X jetting. Um, just some basic information that I wanted to uh, get out to you. Also, wanted to make correction on that uh, previous video I did to make sure that I had one where I include uh, putting in that orifice in that spring. Hey, if we can help you in any way, uh, be sure to leave us a, a comment down below. Don't forget to su subscribe, hit the bell. Leave a like, leave a comment um, for us. That'd be awesome. And don't forget uh, DougRuckerStore.com. We've got all your all the supplies that you could need: um, machines, guns, wands. Basically, everything that I use is what I sell. Um, so, uh, also PressureCleaningSchool.com, DougRuckerSchool.com. Got a great online video school. Over 200 something training videos one low lifetime membership price you don't have to keep paying every month you don't have to join a club once you sign up and pay you're in you get access to all the videos that are there now as well as anything that i post in the future on there and i continually post a lot of videos for training so um thanks so much for watching hope you guys have an awesome weekend today is saturday so uh have an awesome weekend and we'll see you again soon